Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Another bloody nice sunny day on the uh, the trail. What could go wrong? Well, good morning. Uh, absolutely cracking uh, morning this morning. Uh, it's pretty cold uh, actually this morning though as well. It was uh, probably about five degrees last morning we got up. Uh, so off to Jeeveston today. So I think about 25k and maybe about 600 meters elevation gain. So we'll see how we go, see how we're feeling. Uh, we roll into town and we're going to break it up and go to Jeeveston and want to drive it tomorrow or we'll push through. I guess time will tell. But uh, yeah, check back in later. Actually, I'll say, uh, so it was like the perfect uh, afternoon to do anything we needed to do. We kind of rolled in last yesterday afternoon, completely saturated, just instantly just threw everything all over the ground, drying out, rain jackets, so helmets, shoes, socks, bloody bags, and then uh, took about, then about like an hour of like hosing the bikes down with our drink bottles to try and uh, get all the mud out of everything. It was just caked on everywhere, so perfect uh, little place to kind of do that. Uh, also try and fix the, the, the flat I had in the puncher, so little pinholes in uh, mine, so I patch those up. Uh, it seems to be uh, nice and hard this morning, so fingers crossed it holds up. Andy was able to patch his up as well, so uh, yeah, ready to rock and roll. So, straight out of camp, maybe 300 metres down the road, uh, turn right and up, uh, up the dirt road and, uh, and it begins. Uh, it's a pretty wild uh, track yesterday, so uh, there's damage to the uh, pannier bag that ripped through, but I don't think it's from weight because actually the other side was carrying uh, a lot more weight. I think it's just from uh, bulk of my uh, clothes and I've been like stuffing them in and things been peeling it away from the, uh, the back of the plate. Uh, also had, I think, my lube oil. Also, I think that split open down the bottom of the bag from, from the bouncing around. She's well tracked down, downhill, lots of rocks. Uh, and then also I think like a pill container had it lid popped off um, so uh, yeah she's wild uh, yeah bikes feeling pretty good today uh, nice firm front tire even though the backpacks are uh, damaged or something they, they feel nice and good today tucked away phones charging went from 30 percent up to 75 percent today's a good day So it's just checking the map, so I think the uh, the peak elevation that we're going to climb up to uh, today is maybe another 300 metres from where we're at the moment, so this is like a little, little hill climb, I think I'm going to keep climbing all day and then kind of go down a bit and then up a bit, then down a bit, and then up a bit, then down and up. It's a pretty steep height, right on the limit, but I can ride up. Up we go. How's the serenity? You know, overcapitalized, can't you?
It's very hot up this hill. There's a freaking gate up here. It'll be very cranky. My type of gate. Oh, it just finished like a nice hill climb up some uh, loose ballast, which is always, always enjoyable. Come along through here and down there. Holy moly, that was uh, steep. All right, gonna say goodbye to these guys, gonna continue on to Dover, so we'll see if we regret this. Thanks a lot for everything, guys, and taking care of me. <laughs> All right, so I'm still feeling uh, fine and fit and stuff, and it's about uh, 2 p.m., and it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful day. So I decided to uh, press on and leave Andy and Jill. So yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for everything. It was a great ride, and we really appreciate it so much. Uh, doing the Jeffrey track with you as well. That was a wild experience. So yeah, let's see uh, how we go with this. I think still another 500, 600 meters elevation or something. Not sure what the total's gonna be for it. It may be about 25K or so, so expecting about four hours or so into Dover, where I should hopefully ceremoniously dip my wheel in the water. All right, we've got another section. Of the arrow clearly points up the hill. I got up the hill and then I uh, checked the uh, GPS and uh, it said I should've gone down this way. So this is uh, the trail, so I just have a further look at the map, looks like it descends into like a nice creek in a valley, so. So just coming down the descent, and there's another trail marker here. Heading up that way, so who knows? Oh, who fuck knows what's going on? Let's do that massive descent, and then basically at the bottom, it's a hard right, I'm going back up the fucking hill. Like another 100 meter descent, when I just descended 100 meters, absolutely fucking stupid. And no idea, like. Yeah, it's like a little bit more beautiful, but if I go down to go back up in the same spot. Hey, hill guy is back with an avenger. Just love being a human yo-yo. <laughs> so, this first saw my uh, first horse, like actually right on the trail. They said they've just come from Dover. They're like, not far, buddy. Only an extra 20k or something. I'm assuming they've been going all day. But uh, yeah, getting there. Nice little section here, looks like a little bit of water. I think I'm gonna bomb it. Tree down. Nice little uh, sandy kind of bog hole section. Beautiful uh, landscape. A couple of trail markers and continuing out. Some, uh, yeah, nice car bogs through here. I'm kind of getting flashbacks of uh, yesterday, but oh, this section is awesome. It's like a uh, hard compact uh, sand or sandstone or something. Beautiful descent. And every time I go down one of these, like, I love the downs, but you, you're always like, oh man, I know what this means. Absolutely stunning down here. Nice and cool as well. Up, uh, climbing up that range, feel like I'm up in Queensland. Feels like a 40 degree day. Just chewing water. Uh, it's quite lovely down here. And hopefully, looking at the map, uh, this is the base before uh, the final giant hill climb for the type thing. Fingers crossed. It's crazy. This, uh, this downhill is still uh, going. It's, uh, didn't expect this. There we go. Up slow. I think this is up. Uh, look at that map, I think Stubbs or something is the uh, the last range, the last hill. So I think we're on the bottom and it's like 280 meters elevation climb or something like that. Just me listening to the tunes and 
winding it out and had like that strange sensation kind of coming over me listening to the music and it's like my favourite uh, playlist just getting, uh, getting tingles. I think that means like I'm excited to potentially at the top of this climb. Uh, maybe all downhill to, uh, to Dover. This is it. I don't know. I'm not going to call it yet. I've been so many times I've thought of being at the top of a hill and then come around the corner and see another bloody mountain. But let's just watch and see. I'm just going to let it keep it rolling. Come on, baby. Is this the last one? Come on. Feels like it's going down. Come around the corner is anymore. I see anything? Oh, it looks down as well. That might have been it. Oh, I'm hanging on. I still don't body trust it. Classic Tassie Trail. I'll come around this corner, there'll be another bloody up. <laughs> what does that look like? Oh, down as well. Come on, take me to the ocean or the sea. I'm sure something's going to correct me in the correct terminology. <laughs> Feels good. I still don't trust it. I feel like I'm still gonna come around the corner. It's gonna be another rough. Still rolling, but uh, just no pedal strokes yet. So I just turn the corner. Gotta see how far I can go without uh, without pedaling. Well, I just took another turn. Still not pedaling. This is uh, this is good. Let's see. Uh, come on, you owe me, you bloody tassie trail. <laughs> The old girl did it. <laughs> ah, what a trip. How fucking good was that? And in uh, true classic uh, Tasmania trail uh, form, uh, from the ocean you got to climb up a hill to, for the official uh, end signpost. There she is: Denport, Sheffield, Delrain, Bracknell, Mania, Bronte Park, Ouse, Hamilton, New Norfolk, Jabri, Jibson, Dover. Tasmania trail is a long distance, multi-use. Recreational trail, 480 kilometers extending from Devonport to Dover. Love this part. The route has been designed for people who enjoy a variety of experiences rather than for those hardened wilderness seekers. Yeah, not sure what that's about. The trail passes through a wide range of environments, including some of the most beautiful, fascinating areas of Tasmania. Checks out. Just in time. <laughs> Half an hour to spare. <laughs> 